One of the reflexes that really affects a child's ability to be able to read, uh, for them to be able to write, is a reflex called the asymmetrical tonic neck reflex. And it's a, a very early reflex. This is the reflex where the baby actually starts kicking um, as the baby turns, uh, working with this reflex. Um, so what it looks like is this, as the head turns, so the arm goes out. So everything will happen on that one side of the body like that. As the head turns, the side's arm will go out. But also, the leg will pull up and the other leg will straighten. So it's a lot of movement going on. And it's all for the development of one side of the brain and then the other side of the brain. It's also so that as the head turns, the baby can then grasp something with its grasp reflex and bring it back to the mouth to be able for the baby then to be able to explore whatever it is that it's found and test that and check it and sort of taste it. And it's all to do with the whole sensory integration process of the child. However, you can imagine what this must be like. Well, for one thing, it can create great clumsiness for the child. So what can happen is they can be um, just sitting there at the, at the table and then you'll go and call their name and they'll go, what? And they'll just turn their head like that. And of course, everything in the way has, that's there on the table can just be totally swept away in that one movement. And then one says to the child, well, why didn't you look? Well, they can't, because that's the key thing about a reflex. It's absolutely automatic. You have no control over a reflex. So this can then affect um, playing games, playing sport. Can you imagine as you're busy playing tennis, the ball comes towards you and you turn your head and then you lose. As your arm goes out, you lose contact with, with that ball. It affects a child as they're busy riding a bike because they're riding, they can ride perfectly well in a straight line, but the minute anybody calls their name or they want to turn, the head will turn and then they will lose focus as to where they are riding that bike. The way in which we see this really affecting a child is in their reading because as they're looking, they just can turn their head and then they've lost their place in the page straight away. It also affects handwriting because as they're busy writing, then they get letter reversals because the eyes are going this way whereas really you want eyes to be able to track that way as you're busy doing writing. So it has a huge impact on a child's academic success. As an adult, if they've not integrated that reflex, well, I heard a funny story the other day, and this was, oh yes, I know about that reflex, we've got two drivers, and when they're driving, they mustn't talk, because the minute they talk, then they'll spin the wheel this way. And so we know if, they, if they're sitting there driving, they must just look straight ahead. Maybe not so funny if there's an accident. However, you will also find that if people have got us, uh, an unintegrated ATNR, that they will often have a lot of neck issues because in order not to spin their head when their arm goes out, they'll tighten all the muscles around the neck. And this can lead to very deep neck pain and, lo and upper um, back pain. So in order to integrate that reflex, which is quite complex, we actually need to work with the child one-on-one. -on -one. However, there are exercises and movements that can be done in the classroom, um, in the PE program, that can help children to be able to integrate the ATNR. So have a look at my website and you will see there what these very specific um, programs are that are appropriate for schools to be able to bring into their PE classes. Mm -hmm.